Good morning, Greensburg Keystone Church. It is uh, time for another encouraging quarantine devotion. I hope you have woke up ready to have a good day and uh, ready to just focus on the things that we need to focus on uh, this morning. It's Monday, but Mondays aren't the same as they've always been. So we can redeem this and say that it's a great Monday, right? So um, the good news story for the day, let's see. Um, I was thinking about it and uh, I've got to spend a lot of time in it because of the editing and all that, but the good news story for the day for me is that the services that we get to have on Sunday usually were just kind of done, and then uh, it was over with, and then you remembered what it was like, and uh, that that kind of thing, but now... The cool thing is they're all recorded on YouTube, and so we're able to go back and watch them. And then if you, like for me personally, that uh, worship set that the praise team did was just fantastic. And just to to be able to share that with people and be able to to just keep going back and then reviewing those songs and, and uh, spending some time in worship, it's something we get to do over and over and over again. And that's a cool blessing, right? So I encourage you to do that, and that kind of goes along with the devotion uh, for today. Here's what I want to talk to you about. It's found in Psalm 16, verses 8 and 9. It says in Psalm 16, 8, I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand, I shall not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad, and my whole being rejoices. My flesh also dwells secure. I want to encourage you because it is difficult to stay on top of the world. It's difficult to stay bubbly. It's difficult to find things to be positive and excited about. It's difficult to not be snappy with people and uh, especially the people around us. It's difficult not to blame people and all that. So this verse for me is one that uh, these verses are, are some that I just, I come back to every once in a while just to remind myself uh, that it is the perspective that I have to have. Um, my heart's glad. Uh, that That's the idea that he says here. Therefore, my heart is glad. Why is my heart glad? Because I have set the Lord always before me. I want to encourage you to be extremely deliberate about making sure that the Lord is always before you in times of devotion, in times of just conversation, in, in the, the way that you're doing things, whether it's putting praise music on during the day or whether it's... Uh, just uh, talking to someone about something or, or whatever it may be, I want to encourage you to make sure that you keep the Lord in front of you. Because if you do that, then you'll always be reminded of the joy that you have and, and you'll always be uh, lifted up and, and encouraged to keep going. And so it is important that you are always praying, as it talks about in First Thessalonians, and that you are uh, just making sure that those things are the things that stay on your mind. So capture your thoughts today, capture your mind today, and I really want to encourage you just to spend some time really starting out praying right now, saying, God, I just, I'm asking that as this day starts and as I get going here, can I please, please, please just keep you out in front of me, always before me, because then with all the trouble, with all the struggle, with all the the, the things that are going to come up today, I shall not be shaken, but not only that, my heart will be glad. Thank you so much for joining me today, and, and I'm praying for you today, and I hope you have the best day.